My name is Katrina Coombs. I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. Um, my work is, my practice generally is based on textiles and fiber and by stitch, anything with fibrous materials. That's just what I love working with it and just how it also relates to the identity of the woman and how it captures her very presence and a presence of a time because in a lot of ethnic groups as well it becomes this medium that reflects on your process of becoming a woman you know that transcending from a child into a woman and I attempt to focus a little bit on that with my practice as it pertains to even just um, the woman's identity, her role in society. So a lot of the works in recent times that I've done focuses generally on the maternal figure and the maternal identity and how it, this social stigma and all of the different connotations that may be around the identity of the woman and how forms this, this fibre is such a very simple, subtle thing that can create this environment that is warm, comforting, it makes you feel safe. That's similar to that of the maternal figure. Okay, so the piece that I did for Gem is titled Transcend and pretty much me reaching a state from my own experiences as, as a woman going through the different maternal issues, the different issues of your cycle, the shifting of the body, all of the struggles that the body faces from losing a child and just you know finding a point in which I can heal. And Transcend is an installation piece and you can go in, you can walk around. Um, it's more of a peaceful approach than I have done in previous times as it pertains to the loss of a child and the loss of just a loved one, you know. And um, so it's really looking on the womb as a whole, the womb as this very um, elusive place, but yet this very comforting, playful, and warm environment that pulls you in. But even with being in, it makes you somewhat uncomfortable visually and um, just even just the forms that I create, um, the, the sacs that are within the center of it that breaks the monotony of the white. Um, the piece, it, it was proposed for GEM. When I did my application for GEM, I, and taking note of even the space that GEM has, I decided that I was gonna challenge myself because it's actually one of the biggest pieces I've ever done. And um, so with that in mind and just the facilities that Jem was gonna put forward for me, I thought that, okay, this is an opportunity that I, that I must expand my practice more and put that forward. And I think the space gave me that opportunity to do so. Yeah. I will be going on another residency in Miami via Diaspora Vibe Cultural Incubator. Um, in partnership with Fountainhead Foundation. Um, so that's one aspect of what I will be doing and then I also have a couple of shows coming up actually. I have a show coming up that I am, a group exhibition that I'm partaking in at the Corican Museum in Washington DC where I'll be showing a couple of pieces and I'm also currently planning my first solo show for next year. So let's see how that works out. <laughs>